Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing our last break of the night. It's our last hour of the night, so it's our last break of the night because we're doing 2017 Panini, Donruss, Optic, Baseball. This is a full 12-box case. Pick your team number four. As you can see, the next one is already in the store. This is Pick Your Team 4. A big thank you to all of these people who dug deep and got into this optic action on a Thursday night. Thanks for joining us. Pick Your Team 4. Michael G with that last spot, Mojo Braves. There's everyone else. Got a good crew in this break. Nice. There's everyone. So thank you. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. There is Optic Baseball right here. Let's pop this open. Let's see what we can get. We've been have, getting some, pulling some nice hits out of here, folks. Train whistles, etc., etc., etc. So we can do them pretty well. All right. Set the boxes right here. Now, just in the in the interest of time, I'm going to open up a few boxes at a time and stack some boxes so we can kind of fly through it. So while I'm opening these packs, you know, this could be a good time for you to run and grab a, uh, a glass of water, you can run to the restroom really quick, you know, uh, put on some comfy socks maybe, I don't know, maybe comfy socks, people like comfy socks, get comfortable, you know, move to, uh, move to a more comfortable part of the house something like that now is your chance so I'm gonna open up three boxes at a time right here I think when we stack them up like this it moves a little bit more quickly we we'll kind of do this all at once yeah grab an adult beverage you know fix yourself a cocktail if you needed to this is three boxes plenty of time to run to the kitchen pop open a a, a, a bottle of red some Merlot maybe some uh, some Malbec from South America, whatever you like. Pour yourself a glass, come back and hang out. Come run back to the computer and hang out. And he says he's he's got a beer. He's already armed with a beer. And uh, and the Rangers in the next one as well. Excellent. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do. I'm sure we'll be able to do another one tomorrow pretty easily. Tomorrow will be a big uh, cleanup day, folks. We want to clean out some of the older product on the on the website tomorrow before we leave for the national. Remember, we are not breaking on Saturday. We'll be preparing for the national. So if you're going to if you're going to be in the Chicago area, folks, come hang out with us. Follow us on Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland. You'll be able to follow our travels and our adventures out there. And of course, we'll be on, we'll be on air throughout the uh, throughout the week. open another one in fact I may go four boxes so that'll make it a third of a case and I think that'll be good so we'll go in third so it'll be we'll have it'll be like a hockey it'll be like like hockey period one period two period three and that'll be four boxes at a time we've not seen a one of one Bryce Harper not here not here or anywhere for that matter
I don't think Bryce Harper has any autographs in this, though, right? Now that I think about it. I don't think he has autographs in this, but I know he has a number of cards in here where you could get one of ones. We haven't hit a one of one in general. This is our third. Well, we, we've done three cases. This is our fourth. So there could be one in here, but we've not, we've not found a one of one as of yet. We found a couple out of fives. We found one autograph out of five. Yeah, no auto, right? I'll see what I can do, Greg. Greg's got the Nationals. He's got a vested interest in me pulling a one of one Bryce Harper. All right, let me pop open one more. No, no Royals out of five. No, that, as, as Andy was saying, you know, that's the blessing and the curse. You know, you, you get a more inexpensive team, the risk is, the risk is lower, right, with an inexpensive team. But that also means that there may not be a lot of quantity of cards that can be pulled as well. So it gets kind of difficult. Yeah, I heard about the uh, the one of one judge autograph. Well, I think there's like a couple different ones, right, for Aaron Judge, but one of them has been pulled. Now check out our Ten Buck Breaks channel, folks. Check out our Ten Buck Breaks channel. There will be, uh, I think Jason Jaspi's still there. He can still fill up a few breaks tonight. I have no idea who pulled it, actually. Was it? All right, four opened up right here. Let's lower the camera angle a little bit. And we'll fly through these stacks right here. Good luck, everyone. Hot boxes galore, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Kluber, thirty-nine out of one forty-nine. Uh, yeah, we're both in LA, but I think I actually don't know where exactly he is. But I think he's like on the other side of the hill, maybe. Clint Frazier, and we're in the South Bay. Clint Frazier, autograph for the New York Yankees. So that's a start for Chris Danielson. So we'll top load and sleeve autographs pretty much immediately. But all the parallels, we're going to wait until after the break, just in the interest of time, to sleeve and top load those. We're going to fly through these a little bit more quickly. Vet base doesn't ship, as you know by now. But there's so many inserts and stuff in here anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Cal Ripken, 47 out of 50 for the O's. That was, goes to Matt D. Dansby. For Michael G, 50 out of 149. Polanco. And that's just a regular refractor. Glass now, Corey Seeger, and Roman Quinn for the Phillies. The Phillies always seem to hit. In this optic right here. So that's Phillies for Ruben. There you go, Ruben. You're on the board. Box number one. Mark Trumbo and Rugnet Odor. The back there. All right, next box. Starling Marte Refractor. Alfaro Refractor. Chris Davis, Diamond Kings. Out of 299 for the A's. And John Lamb, back to the future. Back to Cincinnati. Goes to the Reds. That'll be for Dennis. I kind of like that back to the future set. There's a Justin Turner met in here somewhere. There's Aaron Judge. We'll sleeve those up too. I think those go for like 20 bucks a pop. And there's Aaron Judge again. 43 out of 50 this time. Red Aaron Judge. All rise. 
That goes to the New York Yankees and Chris Danielson. Here comes the judge, Chris. 43 out of 50. That's about the number of home runs I think he could hit, right? Between 43 and 50? Right about there. Right about there. We're four for four, by the way, folks. Four cases, four Aaron Judges. Dexter Fowler, 218 out of 299. That goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Ellie. Corey Seager, Orange, Diamond Kings, out of 199. Who has my Dodgers? Uh, Michael G does. There you go, Mike. Oh, sorry, I missed this. That's the uh, MVP variation of that uh, Mike Trout going to the Angels. And that'll be for Brandon. All right, next box. We got Ivan Nova, Prism Optic Auto. This Optic Auto going to the Pirates. That'll be for Jason Bow. Nice. Um, Ivan Nova having a bit of a resurgence in his career since going to Pittsburgh. Redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Before I finish the box. We'll, we'll set that Cody Bellinger aside for the Dodgers. That could have a little value. Corey Kluber for the Tribe, 67 out of 199. Uh, Indians, that'll be for Daniel Anderson. Nolan Arenado, that's numbered. 193 out of 299 for the Rockies. That'll be for Arthur. Bellinger, Ben Attendee says Darji, maybe. There's Ryan Healy. Those are the guesses on the redemptions. 45 out of 299. Another A for J, or first A for J. Chris Sale for the Red Sox. That's for Darji. That's 37 out of 149 on that Chris Sale. All right. The redemption is... Andrew Benintendi, rated rookie signatures for Darji. Darji called it. Nice. There it is. Red Sox. Nice. Next spot. Hey, you're welcome, man. You are welcome. Rookie of the year. Seeger, Carlos Correa. Out of 99 for the Astros. That'll be for Riley Card Collector. This might be a parallel hot box. Renato Nunez, blue to 149 for the A's. Anthony Rizzo, it is. Mary, no, not Mary Lou. Daniel Anderson, I'm so used to that. 299. Anthony Rizzo. We got red. Ryan Healy for the A's. Jay Kreider, 68 out of 99. Uh, we've got a Dexter Fowler for Ellie. That goes 24 out of 50 on that Dexter Fowler. Corey Seager, that one's not numbered. Tony Gwynn, 9 out of 99 for the Padres. That will go to Adam Wilson. You right. Darvish for the Rangers, for Andy. 150 out of 199. No, sorry, DVD. Andy got him in the next one. DVD without you Darvish. Carson Fulmer for the White Sox. Brian Sawyer. 86 out of 149. We got blue Tyler Glass now for the Pirates. Jason Bow with that one. 76 out of 149, Jason. Freddie Freeman. Braves. Michael G. 260 out of 299. Goldie, just a refractor. Francisco Lindor for the Tribe. Daniel Anderson out of 199 on that Francisco Lindor. Trumbo is just regular. Madison Bumgarner, the motorcycle rider, 34 out of 199. Orange parallel for the Giants. That goes to Andy Garner with a little opposite Joe Mojo. Addison Russell, 12 out of 149. For the Cubs, Daniel Anderson. And 
for the tribe, Eric Gonzalez. Daniel Anderson again with the Cleveland Indians. Oh, there it is. 53 out of 150. We got Robinson Cano, blue. 97 out of 149. Tice with that one. Cody Bellinger, refractor. Nolan Arenado, Rockies. Uh, that goes to Arthur. 73 out of 199. A lot of parallels to be had here. Chris Sale for Darji and the Red Sox. 160 out of 299. Jacob DeGrom, Metropolitans for Vic. 180. 80 out of 199 on that one, Vic. Daniel Murphy, Greg. 131 out of 199. Daniel Murphy again, not numbered. I'll still ship, though. Jose De Leon. 188 out of 199 for the Rays. Megan with the Rays. Buster Posey. Look at this Buster. 7 out of 50. Like the one giant I actually do like. Um, that goes to... Uh, Andy Garner with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Luke Weaver for the Cardinals. Ellie with an auto. 68 out of 125. And then Kevin Crimeer at the end here. Nice. So big stack of parallels. Set these aside, make myself a little room here. Gonna pop open another four boxes. So this is a good time to refresh your drinks. <laughs> At this point, we're moving to a different comfortable spot. Maybe, I don't know, maybe go, hey, like, I should get into PJs or something like that. Yeah, now would be the time. I'm just opening packs for four boxes. Maybe you're like, oh, this, uh, this scotch could use another cube of ice, you know? It is a Thursday night. You still have to work tomorrow, so maybe that ex extra cube will be okay. You're welcome, Ellie. Thanks for getting in. Brush your teeth. Maybe you can run and brush your teeth really quick. That would be a good one. It's like if, if you're going to bed right after this, you'd be like, oh, I could just run and brush my teeth while Joe's opening four more boxes. I know. I need like a... <laughs> Andy's like... Joe's gonna have to soak his hands when he gets home. I need I need like a uh, a tub or something like that. You know, like where where pitchers like ice their or ball players like ice their bodies or their arms or whatever. I need to put my hands in one of those things. Uh, will I post anything on Instagram from the National? No, I I I used to post more on Instagram, but. It's just been a lot more convenient to do um, for me to do Twitter. I think Nick Jaspi does more of the Instagram stuff, and I do more of the Twitter stuff. The Twitter is just a little bit easier because it's easier to just do more up-to-the-minute updates there in case, like, you know, something happened at the National or running late or whatever the case may be. There's always something that happens, so. All right, all right. So while I'm doing this, XXL... Rick's gonna get some Captain Captain and Mountain Dew. Wait, is that like Captain Morgan spiced rum and Mountain Dew? Is that what you're gonna have together in the same glass? That sounds like an. I have a. I have never heard of that before. Instant cream soda, he says. But yeah, Darji hasn't heard this before either. He's like. Sounds intriguing. Never heard of Captain and Dew. Oh. Huh. Now I kind of now I kind of want that. I'm okay with I like Mountain Dew. Hmm. Brandon, what's going on? Brandon Parrot saying tried a 10 buck break of this optic. Got randomized the rays and hit a daily own auto. Nice. Yeah, I guess that worked out okay. Well, listen, Brandon, if you you can always do those appetizers, but if you don't want to fill up on appetizers, you can always come here for a full course meal. So if you're ready for a steak, you know where we are. But the appetizers are nice too. Yeah, they like snacks. They like to snack. But, you know, you can't always fill up on breadsticks. Have a few breadsticks, and then you can knock out knock out a steak.
Right. I, in fact, there, there are a lot of teams in this full case break that are just over $10. So anyway, now, now I'm intrigued about this. Now I, I can't stop thinking about the Captain Morgan and Mountain Dew combination sounds kind of incredible. Huh. I don't really like don't really like uh, sweet drinks that are too sweet. But I feel like I could I could I could have at least a glass of that. No, it's all good, Brandon. Hey, it all goes to the it all goes to the same place. It all goes to the same place. So it's you're still supporting Jaspie's hobby, man. All right, one more box, and then we'll jump right back into it, into the second period of this break. I don't know if this, is this any faster or, or slow? I have no idea. It feels faster to me, so I think that's why I like it. You know, if you're on a production line, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. You know, it'll be a little bit faster, I guess. Yeah, I'm okay with the cream soda. The captain kind of mellows out the swim. See, I, I think I like that. See, because I, I, I enjoy a uh, I enjoy a captain and coke, you know. Oh, it is faster, I guess. All right. That's fine. See, the thing is, I can't do I can't do like I can't do it this way like three times a night. You know what I mean? It's because it's actually rushing a, just a tad bit. But but Randy says it's not. It's not faster. I don't know. I mean, I think if I did all twelve boxes at once and and then fired through all twelve stacks of cards, I think maybe that would be a little bit faster. But yeah, I will I will check the time. So well, I'm at the. I can tell you right now, I'm at I'm at 23 minutes and 30 seconds right now. So I don't know if I'm ahead of pace. The case I did earlier today was I think 51 minutes or something like that. Anyway, we'll find out. We'll see if this is a personal best. Salvador Perez follows. We were just talking about you, Jose De Leon. Back to the future autograph for the Rays. This is going to be a autograph hot box. This goes to, oh, I'm sorry. This is Back to the Future. This goes to the Dodgers. Sorry, Megan. This goes to Michael G with the Dodgers. My bad. Hey, Nomar Mazzara for the Rangers. Uh, that'll go to DVD, 66 out of 299. We'll save that Cody Bellinger, too. Might as well. Another redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Madison Bumgarner, motorcycle rider, 87 out of 299. Goes to the Giants, Andy. Riz, little nickname right here. Cubs, Daniel Anderson, 115 out of 149. Rated rookie, Braden Shipley. Looks like it is a autograph hot box. There's one, there's two, there's three. We should be expecting two more. Darji wants another Ben Benintendi. Dansby says Andy. I think his autographs are hard signed, aren't they? Darji's other guess is Josh Bell, who's right here, actually. Aaron Judge Refractor. I think those still go for like 30 bucks. And it's... Uh, Leo Dice Tavares, Rangers. That goes to DVD. Yeah, Darji also confirming that Dansby is live. Yeah, I actually don't know who all the redemptions are, so we're gonna we're gonna find out. 
And there's Rio Ruiz. For the Braves, that goes to Michael G. Video Voids is Tebow. Is he a redemption? Oh, Michael G says not all Dansby's are hard signed. So there's your four autos right there. And the redemption is Bam. Orlando Arcia, rated rookie signatures hollow. What are the hollows number two? 50, 25, something like that. So if it's rated rookie signatures, hollow, 150 or less. There you go. Brew Crew, Peter Eng. Oh, these labels are bigger than the other one. All right, there you go. The Orlando RC. Nice. Next box. Kevin Crimeer for the Rays. Megan with that one. 48 out of 299. The Rookies. Blue. David Dahl. Out of 149. Bottom left-hand corner. Arthur on that one. We got Matt Olson. Rated rookie autograph. For the Oakland A's. Jay Kreider. Nice. Giolito. Robinson Cano, Diamond Kings for the Mariners. Tice, 41 out of 299 on that one, Tice. We'll be sleeving and, and top loading all of those after the break. Just in the interest of time, we're kind of zooming a little bit here. Another Cody Bellinger. There's Justin Verlander. Where does he end up? 143 out of 299. Are the Tigers even going to move him? Paul Harris with the Tigers. And two out of five. Look at this, Arthur. Arthur with the Rockies, of course. He's asleep. So that's when we pull in big hits. Never when he's watching live. Two out of five. David Dahl, 1983 retro signatures. Wow. Right on the card as well. And Arthur's going to be so pissed. He's going to wake up in the mornings and be like, come on, man. Really? You pull me the big hits when I go to sleep? Two out of five. And a train whistle too, Arthur. Arthur. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! One of the big prospects for the Rockies. Nice. Is he is he playing every day now? Corey Seager, Rookie of the Year variation. All right, next stack right here. Wait, was that? No, that's someone else. Oh, that's Aaron Judge. Let me put that aside. I knew I saw something. And 6 out of 10, Freddie Freeman, Optic Autograph. Nice one. Michael G. Braves and the Last Spot Mojo. <laughs> Brandon says it's centered like 1983 too. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> that's a good one. It, it's, it, they're shooting for accuracy. Nice Freddie Freeman autograph for Michael G. Mitch Hanniger, 8 out of 25 on that one. Nice. MVP. Variation, Aaron Judge, Refractor. You're welcome, Mike. And one out of five, Tyler Glass now. The train whistles coming in. Pirates, Jason. Jason Bow with the Pirates, with the Buckos. And that's one out of five, another 83 retro signature. Nice, Jason. All aboard the Big Head Express. Whoop, whoop. It's a nice hot case right here, folks. This is going to keep everybody awake till the end. Aaron Judge Orange. 142 out of 199. That's crazy. And another Aaron Judge right here. Right, like right there, that's like 100 bucks right there. 
And that's not even including the other Aaron Judge that we pulled earlier. That's insane. That's more for Chris Danielson and the Yankees. Brian Dozier, 8 out of 10 for the Twinkies. And that'll go to Matt D. Yeah, Judge, Judge, Judge. Here comes the Judge. Judge, 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 judge. Hey, you know what we say here, folks. Scared money don't make money. All right. Next box, and then we'll open up the last four and fire through the last four. Joe Musgrove. Five out of 25, nice one for the Houston Astros. Nice Joe Musgrove. Astros will go to Riley Card Collector. Gavin Ciccini. Is that, I don't think that insert was numbered. No. Jacoby Jones for the Tigers is your other autograph. 30, 93 out of 99 on that one. Tigers going to Paul Harris. Ken Griffey Jr., 006 out of 299. Nice one for the Mariners. Tice with the kid. Ryan Healy, that looks like the 25. Yep, 11 out of 25 for the A's. Jay Kreider and Brian Dozier, Dominator. 11 out of 99. Twins. That'll go to Matt D. All right, last four boxes coming up. What are we looking for? We need, do we need one more? Do we need one more hot box? Or is it two more hot box? I think I've lost track. Do we need one more auto hot box? Or one more parallel hot box? Or both? What do we have left? I've just kind of blanked out. They go unconscious when I do these breaks. Uh, and he says, I think two more of each, right? That's what I, 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 yeah, that's what I think too. I think we need one more autograph hot box and one more parallel hot box. So, so Greg, people like Greg, plenty of time to try to try to chase more autos and more low numbered parallels. This has been a pretty hot case so far. So anything is possible, right? As KG said in the Adidas commercial, everything is po anything is possible. Something like that. Play to the whistle, folks. That's what we do. Last four boxes coming at you. Good time to refresh your drink. This is the uh, second intermission <laughs> before the third period. Refresh your drink. Definitely getting to PJs now. We're almost done. Definitely getting to PJs now. Maybe a glass of water at this point, you know? And you're like, ooh, maybe a glass of water. <laughs> Vic saying, Vic saying I, I think I've seen two Mets. You know, I feel like we haven't seen very many Mets stuff, right? I've, we've seen some inserts here and there. I don't think we've seen a lot of... Mets autographs, they gotta, they gotta be due. 
it's not like roulette where each spin is an independent wheel spin. There's only a finite amount of, uh, of cards that were produced, you know? So they gotta be due. We can play that game. We can say, we can tell ourselves, hey, this team must be due. Tebow one of one. That'll cover the cost of admission pretty quickly, Vic. You know, well, Andy, was it was it you and I that were talking Tebow yesterday? I forget. Maybe it was someone else. But I think someone was saying, oh, you know, so does Tebow gets called up, right? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, no way Tebow gets called up this season. Blah, blah, blah. That would be ridiculous. He's not even hitting that well, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then I, then I realized that <laughs> the Mets aren't close to a uh, – well, now SC Cards just asked, do you think Tebow called up? Well, I was thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? The Mets kind of have a terrible record. <laughs> right now i don't think they're gonna sniff the playoffs you know what i mean like so if it gets really bad well i'm kind of changing my mind yeah he could come up in september when the rosters expand right yeah tebow kind of equals ticket sales xxl is saying so i think i'm changing my mind i don't think he gets called up on his own merit if if the if they were in a playoff race i don't think he'd be called up but if their season keeps going the way it does, and if they have no shot for, for the playoffs, I think they call up Tebow uh, for a cup of coffee when the rosters expand in September, you know? Just to, just to trot him out during home games, you know, have him wave his cap a little bit, you know, take a couple cuts as a pinch hitter or something like that, and or a pinch runner or something, and there you go. I think that could happen, actually. <laughs> You know, I think I think it's a long way for him to become any sort of everyday player. <laughs> he's got a lot of years because he's still only, I think he's only in I think he's only in single A right now. High A maybe or just regular A. I don't know, but stop. He's not heating 320. Where? Single A or double A? Did he get promoted to double A? No, I think he I think he was promoted to, to like from high A to like regular A. I didn't think he was hitting 320. I thought we looked this up. He was not he was hitting like 220. Last box to open up right here. Either way, I've 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 recorrected my 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 hot take from yesterday. I think Tebow could be called up for a cup of coffee in September, just for like for home games, put butts in seats, you know. Oh, he is hitting three twenty in high A. Oh, okay. I thought that number was lower for some reason. Yeah, Andy. Hey, like I said, I, 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 I am. I'm the type of man that that could admit that I've changed my mind, that I thought it over, that I've re, that I've made a different choice. You know, considering more thought and information. Yeah, I shunned the thought originally, but I slept on it, and then as I thought talking about, talk, started thinking about it today, I was like, wait a second, Mets aren't having a very good season. No. You know? still gotta give it to Not many people can do that. No, not many people can do that. To completely switch sports like that, especially baseball, where it's such a sport of repetition, you know, just like raw talent isn't going to get you, get you through baseball. You know, it's just literally X amount of number of swings in the cage, X amount of throws, X amount of plays in the field, and it's just sheer repetition. It's a grind sometimes, but uh, you're into football more, so it's going to sound stupid, but how does the MLB rookie system works, asks SC. Uh, how, well, how do you mean? 
Well, rookies don't generally jump into the major leagues right away because it's such a difficult game to get into there. And, and that, like I said, there does take so much repetition. You know, you got to go through a minor league system and you go up the ranks that way. All right. Last four boxes, folks. Good luck, everybody. All right. Yeah, I, th I think Darji kind of has an explanation for you. Let me go through these really quick. We got Manuel Margot or Manny Margot, 60 out of 299 for the Padres. That'll go to Adam Wilson. And there's Alan Trammell. Nice. Old school Tiger right here going to Paul Harris. There you go. Ryan Sandberg for the Cubs, Daniel Anderson to 299. Chris Sale for Darji and the Red Sox. That one is to 299, 49 out of 299. Should be one more autograph in here. Ryan Sandberg. Masters of the game, 63 out of 99. That's pretty cool. And Trey Mancini is your Oriole. Matt D with the O's. Part of the Oriole future here. And Luke Weaver on the back. There we go. That was box... Number one, or the fourth to last box. Here's a third to last box. David Polino out of 149 for the Astros. That'll be for Riley Card Collector. This might be the parallel hot box. Jorge Alfaro for the Phillies out of 149. Ruben Yoenna Cespedes for the Metropolitans. Vic, there you go. 205 out of 299. A little something extra. Kirby Puckett, twins. Nice. Matt D, 65 out of 99. Jackie Bradley Jr. for Darji. That is 130 out of 199. Michael Fulmer for the Tigers. Paul Harris, 90 out of 99 on that one, Paul. Albert Pujols for the Angels. Brandon Kay, 130 out of 199. Uh, Reynaldo Lopez for the White Sox is your rated rookie autograph. That'll be for Brian Sawyer. There's Trey again. There's Orlando Arcia. 16 out of 50. Brew Crew. That'll go to Peter. Corey Seager Blue for the boys in blue. 14 out of 149. Michael G with that Dodger Joe Mojo. Yeah, it's my Tomas, the rivals. Brandon K. 128 out of 199 for the Snakes. Duke Snyder, the Duke for the Dodgers. 140 out of 199. Another one for Michael G. Uh, that mass Bumgarner not numbered. King Kenta for the Dodgers, 66 out of 99. Another one for Michael G. We've got a blue, Corey Kluber, 138 out of 149. Indians, that will be for Daniel Anderson. Stephen Piscotti for Ellie, 263 out of 299 on that one, Ellie. Matt Carpenter, another one for Ellie, 123 out of 149. Andrew McCutcheon, red for the Pirates. 29 out of 99 for Jason Bow and another Brewer, Lewis Brinson. Haven't seen him yet. Lewis Brinson for the Brew Crew. Peter Ang with that one. Nice. So 48 out of 125 refractor autograph for Peter. Mitch Hanniger, 194 out of 299 for the uh, Mariners. That'll go to Tice. Uh, Mangaris Sierra, 38 out of 99 for Ellie. Freddie Galvis for the Phillies, 006 out of 149. Ruben with that one. Starling Marte for Jason and the Pirates, 120 out of 149. Uh, that is not numbered, and Nick Markakis will be numbered, 136 out of 199 for the Bravos. That'll be for Michael G. There are your two autos there. A lot of parallels to sleeve up. Second to last box. Good luck, everybody. Aaron Judge, Refractor. 
Back to the Future, Chris Davis from his Brewers Day. Good job, Brewers. Peter Ang with the Brew Crew. Javier Baez, blue for Daniel Anderson, 240 out of 299. Aqua, I think, is what it's called. It's Cody Bellinger, rated rookie. Chris Bryant, refractor. Any guesses on that one? There's uh, Alex Dickerson out of 299 for the Padres. That'll be for Adam Wilson. Chad Pinder, 93 out of 125. Aqua on card auto. This looks like a, the autograph hot box. So we saw the parallel hot box, and now this is the last hot box right here, the auto hot box. That goes to Jay Kreider and the A's. And Paolo Orlando for the Royals. Optic autographs for KC. That'll be for Matt D. And Gavin Ciccini for Vic. 268 out of 299. And Rio Ruiz for Michael G. And the Braves. Orange Auto. That goes to... Or no, I know who that goes. That goes to Michael G. in the last spot, Mojo. But 25 out of 99. And Jake Thompson right here. Dear Valued Collector, you are due to receive... Josh Bell, Rated Rookie Signatures Hollow. Who called the bell? SC Cards called the bell. Someone else has called Josh Bell earlier, too. Um, Pirates, Jason Bell. And the last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. You Darvish, Aqua. 193 out of 299. Rangers, that goes to DVD. And put a bird on it. Greg Bird. Studio autograph for the Yankees. Chris Danielson having a hell of a break with the Yanks. And Jose De Leon for Megan and the Rays. There you go, Megan. Rated rookie autograph. Former Dodger prospect. Take care of him. All right, and those are our two autos. There's Brandon Belt, 11 out of 299 for the Giants. Andy, so I think it's just we're looking for parallels from here on out. It's cool that they have Mickey Mantle back in the set, too. Jose Abreu, White Sox, Ryan Sawyer, 226 out of 299. And the last bit right here, this might be it. And looks like it is. There's Refractor David Dahl and Goldie right here. And we are done. There you go, folks. Thank you very much. That was 2017 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball. Pick your team number four. We knocked it out in less than 50 minutes. There you go. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Bye-bye.